Oh boy, the table gives values for a polynomial function f, there it is, at selected values of x, there they are. Let g of x equal a f of bx, okay, plus c, where a, b, and c are positive constants. In the xy plane, the graph of g, this new guy, is constructed by applying three transformations to the graph of f in this order horizontal dilation by a factor of two, gross, a vertical dilation by a factor of three, not that gross, and a vertical translation by five units, what is the value of g of negative four. This is a awful, gross, awful, terrible problem. But I gotcha. I gotcha. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start out by looking at the order that they want this in. They want to do a horizontal dilation. Okay, whenever you have to do a horizontal dilation, usually what you do is you take whatever uh, f of x you have. All right, so I'm, this is going to be applied to this in a specific order. Uh, and you, whatever that number is, you divide it the x inside the f of part, inside the function, you divide the x by that number. So a horizontal dilation by a factor of two is going to look like this. Now in the case that we have, I have f of bx. So f of x over two can be written as f of half an x, like so. So in this case, we are going to have a b of one half. So that's gross thing number one. Once we have that, we are being told that we have a vertical dilation by a factor of three. Now, when you have a vertical dilation, you take your f of x and you multiply that guy to three. Now, that affects the stuff inside the parentheses here in no way. So 3 times f of x is going to take this guy and make our a 3. Now the easiest part about all of this is the vertical translation of 5 units. That just means you're moving your graph up, for, up 5. So in this case, plus c means c is 5. So I have three things that I need to put together here. Okay. I have b is a half, a is 3, and c is 5. So g of x is going to be 3f of 1 half x plus 5. They want g of negative 4. So g of a negative four means I write this whole thing out and replace every x with negative four. So three times f of half of negative four plus five. Half of negative four makes this f of negative two plus five. According to this guy up here, if x is negative 2, f of negative 2 is 5. So this becomes f of negative 2 is 5. 3 times 5 plus 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. So this was a god-awful problem. Terrible. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'd give it about an 11 and a half. But we did it, and I'm proud of us. Good job. Good job, everybody.